Are you tired of lag stutters and low FPS in your favorite games? In this video, I'll show you how to optimize Windows for gaming so you can get more FPS and smoother gameplay. Whether your game stutters, feels slow, or just doesn't run well, these tips will help you fix it. So watch till the end, and if this video helps, leave a like and subscribe for more gaming tips. Let's get started. In the first step, we will fix all the corrupted files of Windows to run Windows smoothly. First, open the command prompt by searching it in the Windows search bar and run it as admin. Once the command prompt window is open, type the following command, sfc space slash scano, and press enter. This command initiates the system file checker, sfc tool, which scans your system for corrupted or missing Windows files and attempts to repair them automatically. The scanning process may take several minutes to complete. During this time, Windows will check the integrity of system files and replace any corrupted files with a cached copy stored in the system. Now in the next step, open the Device Manager by right, clicking on Windows icon and select Device Manager. Inside Device Manager, locate the System Devices drop-down menu and expand it. Scroll through the list and look for High Precision Event Timer. This timer is known to cause lower FPS on many systems. To disable it, right-click on it and select Disable Device. If you notice worse performance after disabling it, you can re-enable it. However, most users will see an improvement with it disabled. Next, on your desktop, press the Windows key plus R simultaneously. This will open the Run box. Type temp and press Enter. This will open the temporary files folder. Once inside, press Ctrl plus A to select all files, then press Delete to remove them. Some files may not be deletable, which is normal. Repeat this process with percent temp sent and prefetch by typing them separately into the run box, selecting all files with Ctrl plus A and deleting them. Again, some files may not be deletable, and that is fine. Now guys, download this Windows optimization pack from my official website. Link is in description. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. After download, extract it on your desktop and open the folder. Open the registry optimization folder. Inside, you'll find multiple registry files. Install them one by one on your PC. These registry tweaks ensure that your system prioritizes games and give them more resources for better performance and reduced lag. After that, run Razer Cortex Installer and install Razer Cortex on your PC. Once install, open it. In the first step, go to the Game Booster tab where you will find the Specials, Processes, and Effective tabs. You need to follow the exact settings that I'm going to show you. Here, you will find the Recommended Settings option. Click on it, and this will apply all the recommended settings for your PC. But the benefit of watching this video is that I'm going to show you some extra steps to get even better performance out of Razer Cortex. So, in the very first step, go to the Special tab. Under this tab, you will find the Enable CPU Cores option. Checkmark this box, and this will make your PC focus only on gaming processes. After that, enable Game Power by checking the box. Then. Check mark the clear clipboard option and leave all other boxes unchecked. Now scroll down to the processes tab. Check mark the box here and you will find all the programs running in the background. From here, you need to stop all unnecessary background apps while playing games. To do this, check mark all the applications running in the background except for the ones that are important for your Windows system. After that, scroll all the way down to find the services tab I suggest you do not change any settings here because it may cause problems with Windows. So keep it on recommended settings and leave it as it is. After this, simply click on the Boost Now button. Now, in the next step, go to the System Booster tab. Here you will find the System Cleanup option. Click on the Scan button. I have already cleaned all the junk data from my PC, but I suggest you run this scan once and remove all junk files from your PC. Next, go to the Speed Up tab. Here you will see all the applications and optimization settings you need to adjust for the best performance. Click on the Optimize button, and this will automatically apply the best visual settings for your PC to get the maximum performance. Once you have completed these settings, simply close the program. It will continue running in the background and will optimize your PC while gaming. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. Now, go back to the Start menu, right-click it, and open Settings. Many of the upcoming optimizations will be made here, so keep this menu open. First, go to System and select Power and Sleep on the left-hand side. Click Additional Power Settings or Swing. Click on Choose what the power buttons do on the left-hand side. Then select Change Settings that are currently unavailable. This will allow you to modify the shutdown settings, disable, turn on fast startup because this setting prevents your PC from fully shutting down. With it enabled, your system uptime can range from days to weeks. Disabling it and restarting your PC will reset your uptime, improving performance. Next, customize your power plan. By default, balanced is selected, which is recommended for most users. If you prefer maximum performance, select high performance. This setting uses more energy but optimizes system performance. Click Change Plan Settings and then Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Advanced Settings under PCI Express, disable Link State Power Management. Under Processor Power Management, set both minimum and maximum processor states to 100%. Click Apply and OK once all settings are configured. Next, return to System Settings and select Storage. Enable Storage Sense and configure it to run every week. This feature automatically clears unnecessary files, freeing up space and improving system efficiency. Now select Remote Desktop. Disable it and confirm your choice, as most users do not require Remote Desktop. And disabling it can enhance security and performance. Now in System Settings, click on About. On the right-hand side, select Advanced System Settings. Under the Advanced tab, find the Performance section and click Settings. Inside Visual Effects, change the setting to Adjust for Best Performance. However, keep the following four options enabled. Enable Peak Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show window contents while dragging smooth edges of screen fonts. These settings improve responsiveness while maintaining a good visual experience. Click Apply and OK. Still in the Advanced tab under Performance, ensure Programs is selected instead of Background Services. This prioritizes applications over background processes. Next, navigate to Devices in the Settings menu. Click Mouse on the left-hand side, then Additional Mouse Options. In the Pointer Options tab, set the pointer speed to the default 6 out of 11 notches. Also, uncheck Enhance Pointer Precision to disable mouse acceleration, which is unfavorable for gaming. Click Apply and OK. Go back to Settings, then click Personalization and select Colors. Scroll down and disable Transparency Effects. This prevents the taskbar and start menu from being transparent, reducing unnecessary GPU usage while maintaining a sleek appearance. Now, in Settings, go to Gaming. Disable Xbox Game Bar, as it can negatively impact FPS. Under Game Mode, ensure it is enabled to optimize your PC for gaming. Next, go to Graphics Settings and enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This reduces latency and improves performance. Also, add your frequently played games here for additional optimization. Return to Settings and select Privacy. Disable all privacy options, as they are not essential, and may slightly reduce system performance. Scroll down to Background Apps on the left-hand side. Disable all unnecessary background apps to free up system resources. You can always manually open any app when needed. Finally, in Settings, go to Windows Update and Security and ensure your Windows updates are up to date. Keeping your system updated helps fix bugs and improves overall stability.
So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.